You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another epic episode of Ask Drone You in this new year of 2018. Mm. How are those goals going? Huh? You write down those three things you want to do today? Still eating well. Still eating well. <laughs> I am. I am. Good. Drinking lots of water. I just crushed a bottle. Yes, you did. All right. So my name is Paul. And I'm Rob. And this is Ask Drone You. Welcome, guys. Very excited to have you. Today, we've got a great question, which is uh, brought to you by our friends at Energen. If you need a portable battery charger for your Mavic, your Phantom, maybe you need it for a unique drone. Whatever that drone is, guess what? We've got a solution for you. Charge up to four batteries at one time using Energen's portable battery chargers. And they've got a new product coming out, which I'm very excited about, but I can't tell you what it is just yet. So if you want a discount on any of these chargers, well, just go to their website, myenergen.com forward slash shop. That's my E-N-E-R-G-E-N dot com forward slash shop and use discount code DRONEUA40 for the A40 charger or DRONEUP40 for the P40 charger. Or if you're a Mavic user, use discount code DRONEUM10 to get a discount on your battery charger. All right, Rob, I think we're good for today. Uh, Oh, you know what? Also, big shout out to our community who's been filling out a lot of testimonials, which are going on the website. Really appreciate it. If you want to join the premier online training community for all things drones, that includes 27 courses, webinars, Q&As that are monthly. Also, you get exclusive access to a community who can instantaneously answer your questions. Well, just go to droneu.education. Yep, that's a new domain, droneu.education. All right, guys, well, let's get started with today's question. Hi, Paul and Rob. This is Eric from Paris, Tennessee. My question today is very short. Is it a good idea to deep cycle batteries when it's very cold outside? I don't know if this would affect it or not, but it is 15 degrees here today and my batteries are due for a deep cycle. I would love to know. Thanks. Bye. All right, Paul, deep cycling when things are cold. <clears throat> Does I that think, matter? Um, the... it matters but only a little bit um i would say you still want to deep cycle if you're having difficulty deep cycling batteries outside because of the extreme cold and you're noticing voltage drops that look that can cause a really serious problem with your batteries and probably limit the lifetime or endurance of your batteries as a whole so i would recommend there's a different method to deep cycle your batteries if you go out and you fly you only get like five to ten minutes because it is just so cold outside well then what you can do is fly for a little while, get that battery as low as you are comfortable with. Remember, 3.60 volts is so important to maintain. I always want to bring bring your drone back, especially in the cold at 3.60 volts. And you'll be surprised just how fast that comes up when it's uh, really cold outside. So bring your drone back, you leave it on, bring it inside, take the props off, and just leave the drone on. The drone will auto turn off when the battery is at a critically low level, and then that's how you can bring that that battery as low as possible and then recharge it and voila, deep cycle. So that's how you do it. The answer to his question, should he do it? Absolutely. Uh, Guys, also just a quick reminder, if it's below 10 degrees outside, you are going to have severe difficulty uh, not only flying uh, and maintaining altitude, but also you're going to have severe difficulty in keeping your batteries healthy. Now, guys, remember from our class, the part 107 and also our, uh, it was in the comprehensive course, which we're in the middle of redoing right now, uh, but we talked about the dew point temperature differentiation. Like what Mm -hmm. is the temperature? What is the dew point? Because if those were within five degrees, you can have icing on your propellers. And if you have icing on the propellers, the blades can ice up, you'll lose lift and you will crash. And you'll use your batteries faster. Way faster. Yes. So so remember when it's really cold outside to just double check the dew point spread. Really, really important. Um, So dew point temperature spread. Is it five degrees? Is it more? Um, Can it cause some freezing on the blades? Obviously, if it's below 32 degrees and the dew point and the temperature are really close, you could have some serious problems. Humidity also plays a big role in that. So, you know, it's always important to be cognizant of humidity as well. Whew. So, 
cold battery tips. Don't forget with the Inspire 2, uh, you'll get a little icon on the top right corner and it's going to look like uh, two batteries and, that are kind of have squiggly lines and they're yellow. That means the batteries are heating up. So make sure you hmm. allow the batteries to heat up before you take off. If you don't have an Inspire 2, you have a unique drone. You have a Phantom 4, Phantom 3, Mavic Pro. What I would recommend is you take off and you fly it about five, six feet up and fly for about a minute land the drone, turn it off, turn it back on, and you'll have significantly more flight time. Mm -hmm. That's if you hadn't put your batteries on, say, a heater in a heated bag on the dashboard of your car while you had the defroster on. Um, remember, you always want the batteries around 70 to 75 degrees for optimum output. So those are some cold weather battery tips for you to keep the endurance of your batteries long, so you can long lifetime of those batteries, but also maximizing your flight time in the cold weather. So I th hope that helps you. Yeah, and, and wear good gloves, because otherwise the battery doesn't matter. You're going to freeze to death. I've been trying to find out, <laughs> find or figure out the right gloves, mm -hmm. but... Okay, here's a new tip and trick. In fact, let me get a link for you really quick. Cool. There are some new hand warmers Ooh. that actually have a sticky patch on them. So okay. it's, like a, it's like a little sticker. Well, they, they also make gloves that have pockets for hand warmers. That's true, too. Now, here's the thing. If you put these sticky hand warmers on the sides of your remote, what I've found is it actually keeps my hands warm enough Mm. to keep flying because it's like super hot packs and then stick them on the side of my remote and voila, boom. It's probably good for the remote too, keeping it warmer. True. Well, I mean, it's not going to hurt it. What I would recommend though is you put a piece of like scotch tape, you, something that you know won't leave a residue mm -hmm. on the on the remote itself and then you stick this the sticky hand warmer to that itself and then hold the hand warmer be, or then hold the remote, excuse me. That way... You don't leave some residue on your remote because when it's, you know, 90 degrees outside in the summer, you're going to be pissed. Yeah, no kidding. So you could actually do that and then put warmers on the outside of your hands. You've got like a warmer sandwich. You're going to be really warm. You're welcome. Yeah. Wow. Wow, Rob. <laughs> Tip of the day from, right. from Rob. Uh, well, on that bombshell, uh, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you for listening to another short but very useful tip and trick from Ask Dronio. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Dronio. Thank you.